Welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can use the Redux DevTool extension for debugging a React app which uses Redux. So let's get started. So basically I have an app and I have loaded the extension but you can see it's not finding it. And uh, this logging is from a previous uh, version where I was using a logger. So let's uh, convert this from using instead of a logger to this extension. And I'm going to do that. So first thing you want to do is to import uh, Compose uh, because I'm using some other middleware. So I need to uh, be able to use all of them. So but you can see I'm already import, importing Compose from Redux. So the next thing I want to do is uh, essentially copy these two lines and uh, change my earlier version uh, of what I was using. So as I said before, uh, I'm not going to use the logger in, it was being applied here. So I'm just going to comment it out. So what we do is uh, use the compose enhancer. This is uh, what we need as a function, but which is already defined in the, if you look at the extensions uh, page, it will tell you that you need to include this. Okay, so that's good. That's all where it is coming from. And then we got the compose. If it's null, it was composed. And then you call this compose enhancers with apply middleware and thunk. And if you just make that simple change, uh, it should all be working now. So let's uh, look at our app. So now you can see we got a nice GUI here. And uh, what uh, I had done was basically uh, change it to so that you can uh, see how it works. So if I change it here, it should. Uh, essentially send a command for last user and here you can see the action is the last user payload is yogesh type state and then you can see the diff it was empty and then it changed it to something else let's say i change it to gore you can see the if i switch over to this you can see it changes from yogesh to gore so it's very very nice and especially for you can click on the test and it actually gives you a test you can run in jest but what I'm going to demonstrate here is just uh, uh, copy this and see if I can manually do this. To do that, what you can do is go into the dispatcher and basically copy this information. And I'm going to change this payload to GOR1 so we can see that we are injecting it from the dispatch. And here I've dispatched it and you can see if I go in there and look at the diff, it's going to change from GOR to GOR1. So it's very nice that you can change the state from this uh, itself. Also, what you can do is uh, whatever you have done, you can export it and it, it basically puts it into a JSON file and download and uh, you can actually uh, import this back in again to rerun it. So I'm going to import it as again state1.json here, for example, and it's going to run through it and uh, you can see it did this, uh, did this again uh, that it was showing you before. Okay. Uh, if you want to look at the file of this file, uh, I guess I don't have it here. Let me just show it uh, just for a second what it looks like. So it is basically storing your uh, commands and then you can import it back again. So you can get to the uh, same state. So this is a really cool extension. If you're doing any React Redux debugging, I would suggest taking a look at that. Thanks uh, for watching this short video and you have a great day. And I will add this in my uh, website under Gore Associate uh, React Redux DevTool Debugging.